This started out as a standard Friday night in with a cat and zero. So don't give her extra. <laughs> the generations share a few drinks, some snacks, and just get caught up. All right, ladies, come on over. This, however, was a new twist. The invited guest at this girl's night in didn't always make himself welcome. We don't want to live in fear, but we want to provide ourselves with the knowledge to get out of situations like that. Mary Catanzaro hosted a self-defense night in for her sister's daughter and nieces. Her defensive back went up when she came across her daughter walking home from school one night totally unaware. Her head was face down texting, I don't know who she was texting, and she didn't even realize that I was on the road. This is what Chris Roberts says is the number one lesson in self-defense. It's not about technique, it's not about strikes, it's about being aware. Attackers are sitting back looking who they're going to choose. Oh, they're on an iPod, they won't hear me coming up behind. They're distracted texting on their cell phone. The attackers look for the easy victims. Let me get five bucks on you. Sorry, no. well, Come on, you must have some. Give me some money. Nothing. Yeah, I, I think you had some money. A black belt in karate, Chris also yeah. says the best target for defense levels the playing field. It doesn't matter how big an attacker is or how small a potential victim is. Yeah. Go for the eyes. Regardless of the size of the attacker, people don't have strong eyes. They can't see, they can't fight, giving you a chance to exit. The idea is to have people in real life situations with things that could really happen, say something as simple as... A knock on the door. You know them. Talk to the hands. Don't be afraid to appear rude. Being on the self-defensive means you're looking out for you. Here you know you're it's like it's not real. Like you know that in five seconds if I don't fight back, it'll be fine. But like in a real situation, you know, if you don't fight back, then that's like risking your life. <laughs> Laura Zilke, Global News.